Wait, where is that? My name is Lizzie Gorman. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. Uh, this is our 10th annual CF concert series. Yay! 10 years. This is my second year on the event, and I am so appreciative to be here tonight. Um, sometimes I worry I talk too loud. So, you good now? Everybody hears me? <laughs> Perfect. Um, so this is a fundraiser to raise funds and, amer oh, oh. funds and awareness for cystic fibrosis. Uh, when I was born, my parents did not know that I had CF. Um, my sister, when she was born, they were aware because they tested her um, in the womb. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I was diagnosed because my mom kissed my, my forehead and it tasted salty. Uh, there was a commercial at the time with Mary Tyler Moore, um, and it said if you kiss your child's forehead and it tastes salty, to contact your doctor because they could have CF. Uh, this and various other symptoms, such as a persistent cough, which you've already heard me do, uh, shortness of breath, and poor growth are indicators that you could have CF. Um, growing up with CF hindered my sister and I's ability to experience some of the things a normal kid would. We never got to go camping because our equipment required electricity. We couldn't go on vacations like a lot of the kids did um, over Christmas break and spring break because you never know when you're gonna be sick. It just hits you. Um, you would think these kinds of things would bring my sister and I closer. However, we weren't really close at all until I left to go to Missouri my first year of college. Uh, I was out of state for a year, and we bonded immensely in that time. I was ecstatic when we both decided to transfer and pursue a further education at Texas A&M and College Station. Can I get a woo? Give <laughs> uh, The fight against CF has never been easier for either of us. Uh, but my sister has always struggled a little more with this really hateful disease. Um, it's a disease that affects the lungs and digestive system of over 70,000 people worldwide. Uh, each one of the CF patients that you will meet has a different experience with the disease. Uh, there are varying types and like all of the symptom severities vary immensely for all of us. As I mentioned, the, co the primary concerns are with the lungs and digestive system. The lungs are impacted by bacterial and occasionally uh, fungal infections um, due to a buildup of mucus and that is also seen in uh, your pancreas, so that's why we don't absorb our food very well. When my sister and I were born, the life expectancy was 18 years old. Today, the life expectancy is about 40 years old. Next month, my sister will turn 25, and in January, I will turn 27. We are not the oldest by far, but I'm happy to have, you know, broken what was expected. Uh, when I was 22, though, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, one of my friends asked me, about the life expectancy. He was one of my close friends at AM, and he just one day, he was like, you know, I know you have this disease, but we've never really talked about it. Can you tell me kind of like what the expectancy is? And at that time, I think it was 37. And so I told him, and he was like, so you've probably already lived over half of your life. And I just started bawling. I, I had no reaction other than that. You know, as a CFR, you know, it's something that's inevitable, but we push it out of our minds because it's the only way we can survive. And when it's brought up, it's something that, you know, it's, it's hard, it's hard to hear. Um, however, <laughs> uh, we have seen many advances in medications and therapies because of research by the CF Foundation. Uh, this is one of the only reasons, you know, that I reached 18 and breached it. I 
I'm now 27, or will be in January. <coughs> Sexy. <laughs> Talk about a turn on, hey baby. <laughs> so we have gone from IVs to pick lines to now I have a port, which um, you can't probably really see it very much, but I can show it to you further if you'd like to. <laughs> um, and then that's for antibiotic treatment. We've had many phases of percussions. We started with just like a hand clap on our chest and our back. Uh, you would have to switch positions, and my parents had to do it in their lap. Sorry, I took my mic away again. Um, and then we went to a, I don't know, oh, nope, that's not the picture I wanted. <laughs> There's a picture of me when I was younger, and I was in my grandma's lap, and uh, that was the, the therapy machine that we moved to next. And uh, then we got to a life vest looking contraption. Uh, Oh, no, I'm sorry. We had a vest that was hooked up to like a bedside table size machine. And then it got a little bit smaller and it turned into a portable vest, which is super convenient. It looks like a life vest. Wouldn't suggest swimming, though. It'd probably be a hazard. Um, the medications have also been improving over the years with additions such as Kalydeco and Orcambi. These are actually targeted to reserve, reverse the protein defects seen in CFRs. All of these improvements are increasing our quality of life, lung functions, and overall life expectancy. Unfortunately, even though these advances are occurring, my sister's lungs could not hold on any longer, and she was listed for a double lung transplant in February 2015. I am happy to say she did receive her gently used but excellent conditioned lungs uh, last year on September 1st, 2015. We were very, very lucky. None of us want to admit how close of a call it was, but she was getting very close. Um, so she had her New Year life anniversary one year ago, or she had it in September. Um, the CF Foundation has also realized the importance of the transplant for CF patients and started a new initiative to support CFers undergoing transplants. Just because you survive the transplant, though, does not mean you're cured, and the CFF has begun, su begun supporting this transition. A transplant is basically like starting over with a new disease, new medicines that are just as costly, and new routines to ensure rejection does not occur. These all have to be taught to the new paper to the patient so that they understand everything they're going through and I don't know if y'all saw but donate life is at the front right now if y'all want to re uh, register to be a donor CFRs everybody anybody will greatly appreciate you signing up so lastly the CF foundation does so much but there are many faces of CF that you can't see tonight because the advances are not happening fast enough I carry all of the lost sisters and fibros with me as we ask for your help. People like you who support the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation by purchasing tickets to our events, participating in the silent auction, and just giving out of the kindness of your heart, you are the ones who are gonna help us make CF stand for Cure Found one day. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. Let's make the tent the greatest one yet. Woo!